So welcome to uh, Kathmandu from the outskirts. All right, so we're in the outskirts and uh, seems like a local neighborhood. And um, we're going into the city now on the bike. Check out a few places, maybe a marketplace. And um, do you know what we're doing today, Madeline? Yeah, but like it's if the, the names are difficult to pronounce. What is the name of the? Boda Stupa. Boda Stupa. And then we check out the local market later too. Yeah. All right, okay. We're going like Hassan. Yeah. And Tamil, and then yeah. Patan there as well. Yeah. That's oh, it. very said. eventful day. Lots to look forward to. I, lo I love the neighborhood though. Um, who's driving me or you? Are you driving at me? No, we go in the back. We All right, so we're just driving now through the out, out of the neighborhood um, onto the main street now. It's quite a local place, quite interesting uh, location around here. Yeah? Lots of open fields, houses scattered everywhere. There's a lot, a lot of construction going on. Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? <laughs> Look at all the colourful houses. You have a lot of planes driving over this place as well because you have the airport close by, so you have to drive through these crazy roads. It's like crazy terrain. You need a four-wheeler. <laughs> it's a very bumpy experience. We're taking a shortcut, that's why. We're cutting through side streets to make it to the city faster. They're all big houses though. They all seem to be like three and four story at yeah, all. Hello. Namaste. Oh man, these roads are like, they need to, they need to fix the roads, man, seriously. <laughs> Working hard. Keep the good work up. Doing a bit of farming in this hot weather. I think it's around 20 degrees right now, it seems. But when I compare it to uh, uh, India, it's quite more, it's much more refreshing now, the heat, it's not as bad, it's not humid. Uh, Vaktapur. Vaktapur? Uh, this one is Lalitpur, the other side is Vaktapur. Right, right, right. So, so next time, again, we cross the river, we come to like Mandu. Right, we're changing district now, okay, when you cross the river. Oh man, this is hot out here. See, I told you. Yeah. Woo! Alright, what river is this? Uh, Hanumade. Hanumade. Hanumade River. A bit dirty, but it's, you know, I'm not sure if I swim in that now. Maybe there's a few uh, crocodiles in that river. <laughs> no crocodiles. I know, I'm joking. No no, crocodiles. I know. Oh, China's 100 kilometers from here. Especially as a foreigner. You have to sneak over illegally, that's the only way probably. <laughs> hey, this is the highway. Yeah. You turn right and you're... Uh, yeah. It's 100 kilometers from China. This you go this China. way. Whoa. You want to go to China? Yeah. We, so we, we can know. drive. It won't take that long. Right, we're actually just entering the highway now, but... It's I'm going towards the direction of China, but not going to China. <laughs> Going to the city. Quite hectic here at the, on, at the moment on the streets. It's a lot of hustling and bustling here, you know? I think that's the bus station on the left, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, look at this. Everybody's waiting for the bus. That's garage. That's the garage. Garage? Wow. Woo! Oh my god, so much pollution in the city. The face is going to get filthy and that one's going to be black. I think I should have worn sunglasses because all the dust on my eyes. Smiley. He's scared. There's wires hanging freely everywhere, my friend. Yeah. They get electrocuted. It's not very safe. It's actually similar to Pakistan. When it, I remember, you know, this is like this in Pakistan. So, oh, keep the good work up. Namaste. It's the Kathmandu Airport to the left, yeah. where we came in. So, you have all the planes uh, overlooking the cliffside here. Oh my God! Look at 
my god, dusty man, all the dust is going on my eyes. Now this one is uh, it's going to be like golf course. Right beside the airport? Yeah. It's a bad idea, my friend. Yeah, also have yeah. over there. We shouldn't have a golf course beside the airport. airport. Yeah. You know, people could hit the, the balls towards the planes. Yeah. That's dangerous, man. <laughs> wow, so beautiful. So many houses, man, so many buildings. It's quite hectic. <laughs> right, we're just entering the bridge, the like Matty Bridge, yeah? Yeah, back by the like Matty Bridge. Back Matty. <laughs> I've seen a sign back there. <laughs> you know what is uh, Bag Matty? No, I don't. Uh, sea tiger. Like a tiger. Tiger? Um, female tiger. Female tiger? Yeah. Female Bag tiger bridge. Bag Matty. That's what he, they call a, a bridge a tiger. Mm -hmm. Alright, interesting. There's some street food here on the right. Yes. Some samosas, some dim dumplings. We still haven't tried the dumplings yet. Right, we're doing. Uh, we're entering the chaos part now of the city, where everybody's hustling and bustling. <laughs> everybody's working hard. It's starting to get super busy now. You can see the difference from the outskirts to the city center. We have a pussy cat. Oh, we have a cat. Okay. Look at all the bikes, man. So many bikes around here. That's all people drive around here because the streets are so small. And you can't really drive cars because narrow streets, you know, it doesn't you. go well together. Hello, Madeline. Welcome to the neighborhood where the hustling and bustling happens. Yeah. All right, that was quite a pleasant experience on the bike, you know. All I can taste is dust in my mouth now. I mean, that was a dusty experience full of nutrients from the dust yeah. <laughs> and the pollution. And we're just entering the... So uh, we're walking to the Boda Stupa, you see? Boda that? Stupa. Boda Stupa. In the distance above the houses there. Um, it's a build a Buddhist uh, what? sacred holy place. Sacred place. And um, we don't know much about it. I'm going to be honest, but it's one of the famous uh, landmarks you need to check out while in uh, Kathmandu. Um, definitely, there's a lot of hustling and bustling back here. Okay, you have a little kid playing in the bottles, plastic bottles. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> She's cute. Adorable. So it starts raining now. Yeah. And the so, droplets are super big yeah. from the rain, like really big. We have somebody. Hello, sir. Lots oh. of fresh fruits. Oh, they're preparing for the rain. They're covering everything. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, yeah. We have to help Madeline cross the street yeah. at this hectic place. Oh my God. Right. We got this, Madeline. Let's go. No problem. What a side. This is a pedestrian crossing, so. They should let you cross, no problem. All right, so it's 400 rupees into uh, the sacred temple. How much? 400. 400. So we're just getting our ticket. It's like 400 per person for two tickets. How much is that in? Uh, 800 rupees is like 650. 50 So that's not too bad. It started raining. I'll put the in... price on the screen, guys. Yeah. Hello. It started Thank raining you. and those traps are so oh big. God. Glenn, you better put on your rain jacket. That's some timing. All right, I need to put the rain jacket on, guys. This is crazy, the droplets. One second. Holy pil pilgrim, okay. <laughs> Holy pil pilgrim. We're going to check it out now, but the rain is too extreme here. It is, it just started. Everybody's selling vegetables here on the left side. Um, a lot of people smiling. Namaste. Okay. Wow, look at this place, man. This is like going back in time. Yeah, it's nice. Whoa, it's beautiful, yeah. You have to check around. It's really nice. Feels like I'm back in like the 1800s or something, my yeah. friend. So the Buddha Stupa, it seems like there's a lot of shops and, uh, around the area. Um, very touristic place. Um, they don't charge the people from Nepal, actually. So we have a special ceremony here, I think, on the side. I'm not sure if we're allowed inside. Are we allowed to go inside, Madeline? I think you need to dress a specific way to go inside. It's fascinating what they're doing here. The light and uh, I don't know where they're lighting. What, uh, what did he put on, putting on for? Uh, and we have a lot of vegetables over here as well. I think you're allowed to walk in, yeah? Let's try to walk in. Under the Buddha Stupa. I don't know what they're doing over here. Wow. Amazing presentation of food. I think they're giving the, the food to the Buddha, no? I think that's what they're doing over here actually. 
with all the fruits in the food. Wow, this is a fascinating place, man. Let's try to go inside. It feels like you go back in time. Oh my god. It's like you have this kind of dark scene, you know, it's like a old kind of smoggy, smoky look. Um okay. You can ring the bell. A lot of people put bells here. This is a fascinating place. Yeah, I think so. We just paid to go in, I think, no? Yeah. Well what is this now? Everybody's spinning the ornaments. You push your way through, yeah? Oh my god. Alright, so you can't actually go into the Buddha super because uh, you need to be a Buddha. I mean, how you just expected that I wasn't a Buddha. Maybe I was a Buddha, who knows? It's sad that I can't go inside, so maybe you have to see the view from a different perspective. Maybe up here. Wow, this is a fascinating place. Manna. Architecture is amazing. Where's the Madeline go? Alright, so the rain is coming down pretty hard now, so we need to hide under shelter for a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, that's a disaster. We're trying to keep the fire lit here, but the water is put, putting the fire out. It's very sad that we can't go inside and check out, check out the beauty, the beauty that you know they offered inside. So. It is a beautiful place. I've never seen a place like this in my life, you know. It's quite unique. Yeah. It does feel like, you know, we have gone back in time, seriously. I'm, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. It's like so nice here. Like, I really love it. Nepal. First impression of me. Woo! Beautiful city, guys. Yeah. Beautiful city. Positive overwhelmed. Yeah. Such a beautiful culture, you know? It's really rainy now. Yeah, shit. It's not good. My feet are soaking already, Madla. No! It's like a tidal wave. Tidal wave of water. Oh my god, rushing through. The water, when it rains, it rains here, you know? Oh my god. Oh, Madeline, this is too much. Bed house, yeah? <laughs> it's very, uh, Obviously a lot of Chinese tradition here as well from the Tibet's culture. Probably not the best day to see the Buddha stupa. But we went we weren't expecting that it was gonna rain, but yeah. We had a feeling that it would rain, but it did happen. It came down quite heavy. Hey uh, Madeline, where do you wanna go? All the way around. Wanna go down these small streets? Uh, look at this, look at this marketplace down here. Look at the marketplace. Quite fascinating. It's pretty cool, look. This is the marketplace beside the Buddha Stupa. It's full of merchandise. Oh my god, it's the rain. It's quite terrific here, my feet are absolutely soaking. You can buy a lot of fake clothes around here for, for hiking and trekking. Oh my god. And you, buy, you, you can definitely sell a lot of fake North Face. Alright, let's continue to walk around here. Hey guys, it's definitely worth coming to the Buddha Stupa here in Kathmandu. There are people here walking on their bare feet. It's definitely worth it. Maybe you just check the, the forecast or like definitely bring some rain jackets if you come in May like us. Weather is changing, so I think the rainy season is starting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Rainy season the next two starting. Months or so, yeah. So, but definitely check out this place, it's beautiful, we made some really nice pictures, some really nice content, so... Oh my god, welcome to rainy season, guys! <laughs> Look at this, it's like a storm, a rainstorm, funny, funny, very funny weather. Um, and it's also sunny at the same time, so it makes it even more interesting. Okay, we're walking through a flood, guys. Let's go, guys! But yeah, yeah, there's not a chance I'm going to keep my feet dry on this. Beautiful. I think it's cool. It's really fascinating effect with the rain actually in the streets. It really gives it that kind of misty look. And where are we going now, my friend? Rakesh. 
Is there a nice cafe? They serve some food? Yeah. Oh yeah, Momo's. Dumplings, you mean? Of course you have dumplings. Dumplings everywhere around here, it seems. One of the most famous dishes. Yeah, but a Momo is a dumpling, no? A oh, dumplings are Chinese. Alright, they're similar, no? I'm just learning about dumplings or Momos at the moment, so... Um, don't judge me, you know? <laughs> Streets are amazing. Oh, here's the cafe now. Seems like a little local cafe called Corner Cafe. This is a local place, yeah? Local cafe, Cash. Yeah, Momo. Nice. A few Momos on the menu. Chicha as well. Some dark alleyways to get to the Corner Cafe. This is very fancy, guys. It's very dark down here, yeah? Very romantic. Yeah, very romantic scene, guys. Yeah. We have two, uh, two couples here, you know, on a romantic date. <laughs> oh, so this is the Momos. It's very dark, though, yeah. And what is this, my friend? Uh, tupa. Tupa? Uh, yeah, it's like noodle soup. Noodle soup, okay. Yeah, Maybe I try. Yes, you do. Do you have a menu? Yes, yeah, try it. Okay, my friend. No you watch me last. It's okay. Soup extra sauce? We're actually not supposed to cut a momo, I just learned that. <laughs> but my mouth is not that big. The sauce? I don't know what spice is, but maybe it's a sauce. It's sesame and peanut, right? This, this is little sweetness in it. Mm. I think it's really good, but I have a feeling this is not going to be the best momo I'm going to eat. Is not the, this is not the best. But I like the consistency. Ah, there he is. There he is. You missed, you missed my missed the momos. Joke on me, man. Uh -huh. Chicken, chicken momos. Mo Vegetable momos. <laughs> no, this is bad. Momo. You misunderstood the way you misunderstood the order. Chicken momo is on the way. So we have a chicken uh, momo. Um, I think I think it's just chicken inside, yeah? yeah There's chicken. nothing else, just chicken. So obviously you're mixing it with the chili sauce. Is it chili sauce? So some hot sauce, okay? First time trying these. Uh, they look like dumplings, but they're called momos in Nepal. And dumplings in China, yeah? Is it spicy in yours? I need to try this. Absolutely amazing. I found these ones good, right? Thanks for the recommendation, guys. That's really, really good. Yeah. I mean, you have to come to, you have to, come to Nepal to try these out, you know? Mm. Why the screen? So, uh, you actually have some onions as well inside. Look, chicken and onions. I actually like the chicken one better. Yeah, they fry these, yeah? They fry them, yeah? It's amazing. Chicken is better than vegetables. Chicken is better than vegetables. Why? Because, What's the difference? Like because chicken ate the vegetables. <laughs> chicken ate the vegetables. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so you get the vegetables and the chicken in, in one. <laughs> good joke, yeah. That was good. <laughs> mm. okay. I'm going to try a few different variations while we're here in the next couple of days. We're going to eat momos. Momos! But that's my new uh, lunch. That's a good lunch snack, yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's healthy though. Fried, so I wouldn't call it healthy. More of it. You know, a treat. All right, quite an eventful day, guys. Quite interesting with the two guys, you know. Um, so, so we're gonna say goodbye. We're gonna head, in, we're gonna head into Jamal now, but you're gonna see that in the next, next video. Yes, yes. Yeah. They were actually pretty nice. Uh, momos, though, the chicken ones, they were nice. So uh, my first we, time. We hope you enjoyed our first video in Nepal. And we see you in the next video. Have a good day, guys. Bye bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future content.